it's Jennifer. Today I'm going to show you how to curl your hair with a curling iron. So I am using a one and a half barrel curling iron. Um, you also need some clips just to clip your hair back into sections. And my hair, I just brushed out my hair but it's still kind of curly just so you know. Um, I actually used to straighten my hair first and then I would go back and curl it with a curling iron but it got pretty time consuming so I, one day I just thought I'm just going to try this with a curling iron and for me it actually worked so I guess it depends on how easy it is to straighten your hair or to curl it how quickly your hair takes to it and hopefully this will work for you so let's get started so we're going to section off I like to go from the temples back That'll be our top section. Lift it with a clamp. It's also really helpful if you have some product in your hair. Um, I have I had put mousse in my hair early, earlier today, so I have a little bit of product. You can also spritz your hair quickly with a little bit of hairspray um, just before you start. But it's just great to have that. Oh, and you also need a comb, sorry. It's, um, I just find it easier when you have product in your hair to kind of manipulate what you want your hair to do, especially if it's different from your normal style. So I comb my hair through with the curling iron. I go halfway through, twist, and then I kind of just pull the hair until the ends. Pull and twist until the ends. Go into the curling iron. Go. Do another the back section. The back is always the hardest section to do. So again, section or middle section. I just kind of pull the hair. I'll just do it one more time. It felt like it slipped out pretty easy. That's another great thing about having some product in your hair. It makes it easier for, even if you're using a flat iron, um, it just makes it your, your hair glides through the, the appliance much easier. That's my little tip for the day. <laughs> I also used to think combing through your hair was like, oh, I don't want to comb every single time before. But since I've started doing it, I really find that it makes a difference. We'll go to our next section. I'm kind of doing big sections just because I want really big curls. More um, kind of voluminous curls. So that's what I'm doing it this way. I like to touch the, the hair just to make sure that it is getting some heat, especially when you're using really big sections. Mm 
just twist it a little bit just to again manipulate Seems like a big section, I don't know if I want to... There we go. There we go. The bottom got mixed in. Do this one just one more time. Leave it in a little bit longer. <clears throat> Another really great thing you can do, if you have the time, once you do the curl, you can kind of loop it up. This is if you want to set the curl, make a loop, and then with the clip, clip it in, and then wait for about 10 minutes, and then you're you're setting the curl so it'll be a lot more, um, it'll stay a lot longer. So little tip, that's what I like to do sometimes. If I have the time, set the curl and then it'll last all day long. Naughty. There we go. That part was a little bit naughty. Oh, 
Yes, I can have popped out a little too soon. Get those ends in. If you've seen my other tutorials, you'll know that normally I always have a side bang, but at the moment they are driving me crazy and I don't know if I want to trim them or grow them out. Oh, that's a little big. I might just section it off. So I'm going to kind of put them back today. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I went more up my bangs back for a little while. But I always get tired of the same style and I just feel like my bangs are just there. They're not doing anything. So try to pin them back and see if that, or not pin them back, but curl them back and see if that works. There we go. And the bang part. So now what I do is I just kind of finger comb the curl, just loosen it up. Like I said, they're kind of like, I use big sections, so they're going to be more like waves instead of curls. Get those bangs back. I'm just going to tease this area because it's a little too flat for me. Start with the back. Gently comb the teasing. And then we'll just with our hands, kind of finger comb it through. This part works. Let's take a look. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. So then all you need to do is spray it with a little bit of hairspray and then you are good to go. Big loose waves. So I hope you like this tutorial and thank you for watching.